Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Rogue One, a Star Wars story, starring Felicity Jones, Diego Luna, Ben Middleson, Mads Mikkelsen, Alan Tudyk, Riz Ahmed, Jimmy Smits, and James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader, and directed by Gareth Edwards, the guy that brought you the Godzilla movie that where he was fat, and the one with Brian Cranston, in case anybody wasn't aware who that director was. Now before I get into the movie, I just have to say, I was almost kind of excited, not as much as The Force Awakens excited, but I was pretty excited to a point that by the end of the day, well, let's get into this review and see if I liked it or not. We have no opening crawl, which to me feels unnatural for a Star Wars movie in my opinion. I don't like the score of this movie, with the exception of some of the original trilogy's music showing up from here and there. Galen Urshow, played by Mads Mikkelsen, who is in Doctor Strange that I'll be reviewing next year, and the TV show Hannibal as Hannibal Lecter. This guy, as a father of our protagonist, I don't really buy it, because I'm used to him as a bad guy, like in Casino Royale, for example. But I don't really care for the character. And yes, he was in Casino Royale, the James Bond movie with Daniel Craig, where he was the bad guy in that thing, too. Felicity Jones is a good actress, but here as Jin Erso, the one person who grabs the Death Star plans, oh boy, I do not care for her either. And I'm going to say it now, with the exception of the cameos, and maybe one of the characters that I'm about to bring up in a sec, from the original characters... I don't necessarily care for any of these characters as much. K2SO, this is the character I actually liked. Voiced by Alan Tudyk, is one bad looking droid, but hey, he may be the only character I like in this movie because he has clever lines coming up in this movie, but I'm not going to explain why. Academy Award winner Forrest Whitaker as Saw Guerrero, which isn't that a character in the Clone Wars TV show? Hey, what do you know, it is Saul Guerrero in the Clone Wars TV show. Because he's a terrible mentor for what he, little he does in this movie. General Tarkin's CGI'd face looks absolutely creepy, just really. Is that the best Lucasfilm could do? Because he's scary looking, and Princess Leia, well, I'll get there when I get there at the end. Jin calls K2SO... A target practice I thought was pretty funny, even though she's more concerned about being hit herself more than putting K2SO dead. The two characters that picked on Luke in the original Star Wars in, is here, in this movie, and I liked those two presences because it made me think of the original Star Wars movie. I do like the action scenes between the Rebellion and the Empire when and Jin hitting a robot that looked just like K2SO, it's the same model, but it actually really wasn't, was kind of funny to me. That line, I'm one with the force, the force is with me, is quoted for the past year, and is a pretty cool quote from the movie. The explosion of Saw Gerrera's planet by the Death Star is, pretty, is a pretty cool sequence. It felt very Death Star destroying a planet in, sad, in a sad kind of way, because I kind of... I, I could still care less for Saw Gerrera after that Clone Wars and the way I was presented in this movie. Directed, director Krennic, excuse me, looks like a guy who doesn't take humor quite well. It feels kind of like a pretentious ass. Excuse me for saying that, but it's unfortunately true. But the character isn't the best villain in any Star Wars movie. Captain Endor, played by Diego Luna, was a pretentious character because I felt he wanted to kill Galen Erso, which we do find out that later in the film. He's making the Death Star because he's making the Death Star, but honestly, he felt kind of like a jerk to me. Just throughout the movie, he felt like a jerk. Galen Erso gets killed by as Jin sees her father for the last time, and again, this is when the plot makes no sense because the Empire says, and I quote, once it's complete, you'll be a hero to the Empire, which to me, that's far-fetched, because how are the Emperor considered heroes? I still think they're villains, in my mind. 
For what little he does in this movie, I, I'm not only happy to see Darth Vader, but I love the fact that James Earl Jones returns as the voice of him after Revenge of the Sith ruined him for good. But it's kind of cured, but not really. But I still like his presence in this movie. General Bail Organa, a.k.a. Princess Leia's adopted father, played by Jimmy Smith, does some... Did something... Did something make me think of those damn prequels? And that's not a good thing at all. The name Rogue One is the name of a sh The name Rogue One is the name of a ship or the team that searched for the Death Star plans for s on Scarif? I mean, what is it? Like, what does Rogue One mean? I don't get this title. I honestly don't get the title of this movie at all, other than the fact that they say it at one point in the at the end of, before the final fight begins. I love the final fight between the Rebels and the Empire from the rest of the Rogue One crew to C-3PO and R2-D2 cameos, which I do love, that to those giant controllable robots from the Empire Strikes Back coming into the fight, and I love the way they appear. It was intense and suspenseful, like all the other Rogue One crew were pretty screwed. I was really sad to see K-2SO die because... I, he was the only new character I did like throughout the movie, in my opinion, for humorous reasons. When Jin starts sending the plants to destroy the Death Star, and suddenly Director Krennic comes up to Jin, and Krennic almost shoots her until Captain Endor shoots him first. And by him, I mean General Krennic. And that felt convenient for convenience sakes, and then everyone dies, and I didn't care. The I love the attack on the rebel ship of Darth Vader. Not only was that awesome, but it shows how much of a badass or a badass Darth Vader is. Carrie Fisher's CGI face honestly freaked me out, even when I first saw that in theaters. And I did see this in theaters last year, like General Tarkin. But this one was more scarier than General Tarkin, in my opinion. I I don't know. I think there's something about that face that just doesn't look right. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 5.8 out of 10. I didn't care for any of the new characters except for K2SO and the cameos. And this movie is not the prequels bad, but it was almost there in, a, in that territory. And the fact that it was made by Disney and Lucasfilm didn't really save this movie for me. And honestly, I just... I just don't care for any of the events that happened to them at, by the end of the movie. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And next week, in I will be back with Star Wars The Last Jedi. I'm excited to see this new one. It's going to be in a, out right now. It'll probably be about one more day until you get to see that movie. And I'll let you know by the time I get to that review. But in the meantime, be sure to thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Watch some more videos, and please leave a positive comment in the bottom. And until next time, may the Force be with you.